I look at this Cavalier starting lineup and there are quite a few changes in this one but Vina Barclay is between the six as usual they have the back three the same you have Giov Giovanni Ling uh, Richard King and Kyle Ning Ainsworth is still will be roaming roaming on the left hand side of the midfield Ronaldo Barrett Mackinson Cadet out of Turks and Caicos Ronaldo Webster Gadel Irving part of the midfield behind the duo of Dwayne Atkinson and uh, Colin Anderson with 23 goals between them 3-5-2 is what Cavalier will play and yeah Colin Anderson 14 goals to his name but none in the last five games is a bit of a concern as we take a look at the humble line starting line Prince Daniel Smith is between the sticks the back four of Afiba Chambers a, a very late change coming at left back four humble line Linville Wilson Ricardo Campbell Xavier Virgo to complete the back four and uh, in the middle of the park Lorenzo Lewin and Giovanzi Real and Paisley and Karim Bryan and Levon Williams will play behind the striker, uh, Roshane Sharp. As we take a look at the full-time highlights, and we hear not a lot to, to look forward to. I believe they had quite a few chances. Anderson was involved. Webster was also involved. And then this effort from Ronaldo Barrett was cleared off the line. Ricardo Campbell was in the right place there. Irving's effort straight down the throat of Prince Daniel Smith. And then they had the long throw-ins which caused all sorts of problems and Anderson was there to bury it inside the area. And getting his 15th goal this season back on top of the Jamaica Premier League scorers charts with this finish. Clinical. Once he's there, every chance he'll score. And he did on that occasion. Again, a long ball inside the area. Anderson chesting it down. Atkinson and then Irving looking for an additional yard of space. Got the shot off. Straight to Smith. And then in the second half, Humberline stepped up a gear. Vance's effort. Handled well by Barclett. Then Webster with some help. And Atkinson put it well wide of the mark. And then Vancey again. Wasn't spectacular this evening under the lights here at the Ashenheim Stadium. As we take a look at the full-time stats, Cavalier with 12 shots, 6 on target. Humble line with six shots, just the one on target. 25 fouls were committed in this game. And a couple of yellow cards were flashed in against Humble line. And you see that the majority of the possession in the end, 58% corner kicks for Cavalier, overwhelmingly so in their favor, 8-1. Colin, your fifth man of the match performance. Not your most fluent performance, but at the end of it all, you got the three points and you broke your scoring drought. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a good one. I enjoyed today, knowing that my team come out here now and we'll fight. We have to give thanks to the Lord. If it was for him, we would be doing this right now. You're now alone at the top of the goal scoring charts with 15 goals. What does that mean to you? Well, <laughs> it's been a long time now. <laughs> I don't score a goal, so I really, really give thanks for this performance today it feels really, really good to be back and how difficult was it to come up against a, a sterling defense line like humble lion here with with some big defenders in there experienced as well and not making life easy for you well it, it was tough <laughs> it was they, they give me a hard time today but you know i, I come out and I, and, I, and I do my best and only my best is good enough so that's the best thing right now all right colin congrats on the goal again all the best get some rest and we we'll see you next week yeah thank you very much colin anderson Another goal for him this...